Hello everyone, welcome to another t-shirt design tutorial. So today I am going to make a fishing t-shirt design as you can see here. And I am going to use the fish that I draw in my previous video. So I am going to use this one here and then I am using a fishing rod from free pick and a fishing bait. So these are, I could have draw them but this is just some time taking work. So I was just thinking to make something really easy. So this one is the drawing, this is the vector, this is the text. So first step of making a design is, here I want to share something with you guys. So sorry I wasn't listening, I was thinking about fishing. So this was the main text of this design that I picked from another design as I showed in my one of my videos that how to pick messages. But for arranging these designs, I was thinking like this. So this will be the first part, the top part of my design, then this will be the bottom part. And here you can see that I am making something like a, I am planning to put it a straight line in a smaller letter, then a bigger letter to this one, and then a small letter here, and a bigger letter here. And then it will make it like look like a, this is the ending of the design, but here a smaller line at the top so I wanted to put another smaller line at the bottom so that's why I pick another line just out of this design but related with fishing so I'm going to use this in my design to make it look good or at least I will try so let's start with the first text here okay so for this one I'm going to keep them aside right now so sorry i wasn't listening so this one is just a smaller text so we can pick a simple kind of font maybe norwester make it all caps then this listening this listening is the important part here because i will make this connect with my fishing text so i will be using a bolder font that is called Enamela. so this is kind of similar looking but i will make it something like this or maybe i can use another font that is called the poster gothic yes yeah, this font is also good like the bold font and then i am going to make it look like a effect here so what effect i will apply on them i am going to select my text let's break it or before breaking that if i take my fishing text then pick eyedropper by pressing i then click here my fishing will take that font and that size whatever we applied there if i select this one pick eyedropper click here it will just pick the same font and once they are in a same font same size everything i can simply break them because i don't need them to act like a font anymore let's break it and then i am going to apply effect go to effect then wrap and then blush so this one i am going to make it in negative direction just like one of my previous videos in my channel so after applying this kind of effect i usually make it a bit longer by stretching the text now this is not very professional way but everything is legal if it is making your design good don't worry about whatever whoever is saying that don't stretch the text don't don't worry about that if it is making your design good then you can do whatever you want you are the designer okay so this is the main focus point of my text and then i will be applying the same effect on my fishing text too so if i break the fishing text i am going to go to effect wrap and then bludge it will apply the same setting i am going to click ok but here i will apply i am going to make if i select this one you can see this is the main area of my text so i am going to apply it the same so i am going to select these two align them on top and then if I select my fishing text, I can simply bring that down and it will align with my listening text. You can see the smart guide, the pink line, it is showing me that they are now both same size, just like this. So that part is done. And this is the style of the text I'm going to place here. Now, one thing I have to keep in mind that if I am making a something in a size, then I have to keep that so this should be the wide of my design kind of this and then everything else i will just align it with the this text position or whatever you can say yes that is the text position so i'm going to make it a little bigger here because i want to this one i am keeping 
small than this text and i will do that on this text but not this one this one i'm going to keep it as it is for now and then this fishing text i'm going to make it very big like the wide of the main design something like that because that fishing text is the most important part of my this design now i'm going to make it smaller so i will maybe follow that that size here i can pick another ruler here just to fit it with my wide of the design something like this and then i if i select this one i can align it with this one but if i make it look like this i'm just showing you guys so if i make it same size you can see it is going to make my this text too small you can easily read this one but not this one so for this one i just want to do not follow the rules here i just want to make it same size bigger or same size wide as the main design is and that is how it will look like kind of this and it will fill my area so this is fine don't worry about this part we will do something for that now this is the main text of my main part of the text alignment that i wanted to make now you can see we make the fishing one a bit bigger and then the listening one is looking like a bit smaller so we can make that a little bigger just like this that is fine now i want to put my graphics in there so in the middle position i am going to make this a bit longer shirt so i am taking 4500 into 5700 artboard here instead of 5400 so this is going to be the main part of the graphics now i want to make it really big because i spent too much time making this design this is a complete drawing so i want to make this one as big as possible because i want to give that full focus not my text part is not going to make that smaller so i think this much is good for right now it will make my design visible and everything will look cool so i'm going to select this one and then align with the text position that is fine so in this area this is not looking very good but don't worry about that we will do something for that area now i'm going to make it a little smaller okay so this is the position of the text here now i want to add some more elements like the fishing rod i wanted to use here maybe i will use it in this way just like this just like the gun vector i did in my okay that was for my bengal channel video okay so something like this now this is going to be on top of my fish but i want to keep it in the background i don't want that to cover my or hide my fish parts and then i will be using a rope that is wrapping around the fish and going something like on its mouth so this is the fish bait that i want to use here in this design kind of this but not in that direction in this position maybe so this is just to make that look good but i want to make it sideways like this because i will bring the rope from here and then kind of this so that is how i will be using it so first step is i am going to i am going to take my brush tool you can use the basic brush but using brush will make it three point round don't worry about that so here i am going to draw a line like this just like this so something like this it doesn't have to be very perfect don't worry about that change it to basic and then i am going to take my curvature tool and it will automatically select that brush just press esc on your keyboard and then press shift and click on this head it will join with that, that part and then i am going to maybe i can simply move it kind of this because i want to bring it from okay sorry sorry guys it is just a problem of curvature tool don't worry just press esc and then again press shift and click on this end it is going to follow that line with it okay so maybe i can simply click on here and then i can drag it in this area because it's hard to work with curvature tool and then i am going to click here again and then i am going to just make it match with this position just like this don't worry about anything else so that is fine and with curvature tool of course we can simply modify our these corners wherever we want it to be something like this because that is the position my fish rope will attest so that is fine now if i select this brush or the stroke here i can press simply shift w 
so that is the white tool you will find this here white tool and with the white tool i can simply make it make this part bigger just like this and whenever we are making one side bigger it is going to make the opposite side smaller but it will become a little bit bigger than the original so i think a rope should not be this much bigger it should be a bit smaller kind of this much and that is fine it is just not the science that i am making a rope but it is too much bigger just make it visible because if you are not making anything visible then don't there is no meaning of making anything in a design so i want to keep everything visible that is okay sorry i don't want that i want it like this so that much is fine now here is a problem that it can be invisible on a black background but don't worry about that okay so this is the other end i am going to press i am going to take my eraser tool to erase this part so that it match with the wide of my it, it can be do some problems like this but don't worry that is not the main focus point here and with direct selection tool we can modify these anchor points like this and then again press shift w i'm going to make this end a little bigger and that will of course make the other end a bit more bigger but don't worry about that okay so this is the position i wanted to keep my fish and here i want to keep my this fishing rod just control x control b that means i want to keep that in the background and then this end of the rope this this will be also in the background so okay i'll do that later so this is the position of my fish right now but here it is overlapping with my text so i have to do something for this area kind of this and then i want to create a water kind of effect here so i'm going to take a shape here just like this and then i'm going to make a, a stroke out of it just like th that was a stroke so i'm going to keep it some color then i'm going to pick this option here so this is going to be a n that is going to hide my fish from overlapping my text so if i select this three i can simply move, move them up like this simply and then if i select my fish i want to open transparency for it and then here in this area i want to hide it so i am taking a rectangle with black fill then draw a rectangle like this now i get some comments like my transparency is not working so if it is not working make sure that it is 100 percent black you can see it, it it has to be like this 100 percent black or anything around this area this zero zero is the black area make sure that it is 100 percent black and then it will hide 100 percent it will make it 100 percent transparent if your this shape or if your illustrator black is kind of rich black like this it will not perfectly work you can see you can see the things that is in the background so make sure that it is 100 percent black and uh, i have a video where you can fix your problem like that anyway that is not the concern right now so this is the position of my fish right now and i wanted to just make area like this that is fine then here i have to do some tricks to hide my these things now i want to with this fishing rod i want to keep this on top of my fish but the rest area i want to keep it in the background so what i will do here i'm going to select my fishing rod copy that then select my fish go inside transparency press ctrl f ctrl f will look like this make it merge unite so it will become a one single solid color shape and i want to just keep this part and this part on top of my fish but not this part so i will simply take my eraser tool and erase the shape that is going inside my fish you can see here and then this part i don't want them so nothing is on nothing is going over my fish but this part is staying on top of my fish and that is fine now here i will do i want to make this rope go in the in the background so i'm going to select this rope open transparency for it and then i am going to draw a shape here make sure that you are in fill mode press shift x to make it fill take your pencil tool by pressing n and then draw a shape like this and that is going to hide your rope so the rest you can simply hide like this now you can see my that rope part is invisible on top of my fish but again it is coming on top of the fish like this and here is a problem that my fish is not 
this rope will be invisible if i put a black background or something like that so for fixing that we can simply select out this shape this stroke that we created press ctrl c to copy now again select this shape and then i am going to okay let me first press ctrl f here that will paste it in the front and then inside the transparency whatever we draw we have to remove that click again here and then press ctrl x so that is the copy we cut right now now if i select this shape this original brush shape then inside the transparency press ctrl f so you can see my stroke is now on top of that original stroke and if i make it smaller like this something like this much maybe it will make a area like it will make the inside part of the rope transparent so if we put any color in that area that will be visible so how to do that and you can see this is working all the way here too so that is fine now if i select this one and then it is a stroke so i have to expand it make sure it is complete black and that is fine for you it will work perfectly fine click here now for this fishing rod i wanted to put some color here because this is a colorized vector so let's select the fishing rod ctrl c ctrl b copy paste in back now merge unite so merge unite will make it look like this just pick any color from the graphics you are using and that will be fine okay that is hard let's use this color so you can see now my fishing rod has some color i can simply select this two press shift m to erase any unwanted part that i don't want but i am not going to do that for now because that will make it invisible okay and if this is going to blend with your black background let me show you a trick here so this is my black background let's press ctrl b ctrl shift and the starting of first third bracket so it is going to look like this now my this tool is not this fishing rod is not really visible so for making that visible we can simply apply a stroke on it like offset path so if i select that color layer and select it again now press ctrl alt f that is the shortcut for offset path you can select your own shortcut you can set so maybe 10 pixel 10 pixel a bit okay that much is fine let's click ok merge it unite it then pick the color you want then press ctrl x to cut now select this shape and then press ctrl b so you can see this is how my rod is now visible on top of my black background and it is not making any problem with the fish here because the fish got some color and it is already hiding behind that color so that is fine so this is my line here that we created we can now expand it i don't want that to be act like a stroke anymore so we can pick this color too now here it is going to make some trouble because we applied that effect inside the transparency if you don't want that you can simply select this shape and then erase this part it will be a solid color shape you can see so this is how it is going to work for you no problem don't worry about that and here it is making some problem so i can simply select that maybe i will erase it from this area i don't want that to be visible from here that is not really important okay let's keep our this black background locked for now it is making some trouble so if i select this shape here press shift m to use shape builder and then erase this part that you don't want and again this part that is making some trouble for us and i think that is fine okay that is not right so something like this this is fine this is going to make it look like a shape here then again selecting my this one i'm going to pick this color that is also fine and then okay let's make it visible on top of my fish okay let's not worry about that this is just fine i'm going to make this a group because and then this all of it i'm going to make it a group okay so that is we cannot make them a group because they are in different position this is on top this is in the background so grouping them will make them all in a same appearance so don't worry about it don't worry that is fine so let's turn off the black background now this is my fishing vector part is looking right now we can simply finalize this, this design but i wanted to apply some text effect on it so let's say i'm going to break this part this listening part then i'm going to make it a bit smaller in size make sure to unite that is united let's bring that a bit up so that we can see well now press ctrl c ctrl b that means we pressed another copy let's change the color 
bring that a bit right and then down and then i'm going to select my this original black layer make offset path of it 10 pixel looks good to me click ok unite do not click anywhere else press ctrl x maybe i can simply make this one a bit more to the right okay not that much like this then press ctrl f and do not click anywhere else press shift and then click press alt and click on this minus one it will make an effect like this you can also do this by another way that is let's cut this black layer so select this red layer open transparency press ctrl f and that will make that exactly same effect that is fine click ok now i want to select this two and then i want to align it with the white of my design that will keep it kind of same okay i maybe i can simply bring them a bit down a little overlapping with my fish that is not a problem and then i am going to apply that same effect to my this fish text so first step is i have to align it with my the black layer of the okay don't worry about that just make it like this unite now press ctrl c ctrl b change the color you will be able to see more so this time on to kind of this position now i'm going to select my this black text open a offset path of it unite cut select the blue one open transparency press ctrl f it is going to look like this and now I, if i select this two i can simply align it with my white of the design so that is fine that must looks good now for this area i wanted to create some other elements just to fill this area now this is a fishing design so i can simply take something like a fish silhouette here i took that from here the fish bait fish icon we can simply took some fish icon so i don't want to make it too much this is the wikimedia comments sorry wikimedia commons file wikipedia you can use that but using that in illustrator like pasting that here will make it look like this because that is the original transparent png here so i have to copy this or i can simply take a screenshot of it just like this then press ctrl c then press ctrl v okay i am using light short software for taking a screenshot it's free you can try to so this is how you can simply take an icon now this is just a small icon it will not be copyrighted or anything like that because we are not copying anyone's work that they, they wanted to sell and make money and there is nothing to give copyright strikes here so something like this press ctrl f sorry ctrl r now ctrl r is my shortcut for reflect you can set your own again sorry i wasn't listening so this is just about fishing so all about fishing so you can take use anything that is related to fishing no problem don't worry about that and this is my lucky fishing shirt i can simply make that a bit down here let's say i want to select this to bring a copy here this is all about fishing so using any kind of fishing graphics is not a crime here <laughs> so you can do that too i'm going to place it like that then i'm going to create another effect here that is just a stroke i'm just going to make a united sorry a unique area make a separated area than the other graphics because this part of the last line of the text is not something of this design this is just to make it relate with our customer our audience a bit more so that is fine let's group it sorry for that let's group it now if i select this one again click on that one that will become the key object align it with the okay sorry guys this one press shift and then align it with the that graphic it is all, already in the center position no problem that much is fine and then here this one okay this is already in the, in the center position we can simply select them align their space between them that is fine so this much is done for us let's pick some color from the graphics i wanted to sorry i wasn't listening i want to make that light then this black part i want to make that this color and then maybe this shadow i want to make it that color then this fishing i want to make this color and then the shadow i want to make it 
this color so this is just a variation of the text here then this one i will be making this color this one i am going to make it okay let's make it this color don't worry about that let's make something darker i have another color in the design that is the pink one so i can simply take that one too this is just making it with the graphics color if you have any color in your graphics then you should follow that for the rest of your design so this is a stroke i have to expand it then i can simply pick this color so this is just making a variation now if you i feel like this is going to be for a male t-shirt sorry of course this is the male t-shirt so using pink color will not look very much very good here so we can do here is simply i can select the pink with magic one tool then let's then let's deselect this part okay that is going to be hard so i am going to select them manually and then this one of course let's make them the darker shade of green here it is going to be it is going to make it a bit less visible so maybe i will use this color okay if there is any problem like this one so i can simply change its color okay that much is fine for me now i want to make it stand out so i'm taking my fish selecting my fish making a offset path make it round click ok ctrl x to cut now this one and this original shape i want to make them a group and then open transparency press ctrl f here i want to make it merge unite so merge unite will make it stand out from the other text or maybe that is too small let's make it another 10 pixel and see how it is looking so that will make it look like that don't worry and for this area that is for the fish area we can simply okay if i select this one inside the transparency i will find the offset path let's copy that select the fish then press ctrl b and here i will pick this color so that will create a offset path for my fish too but in this area i can simply erase it i don't need it to be there so you can see this is how my fish is visible on top of my lettering on top of my black background and for this area i can simply make it let's do not keep any details to it let's unite them like this and that is fine okay so that is making it visible okay so this much is fine for me i think no problem here okay so this is the final graphics that i wanted to make for this one i will show in my group if i make any changes here so that's it for today's video guys thank you everyone for watching this if you learned something new from this one make sure to comment and if you want to learn anything from me you can comment that also thank you everyone see you in the next video guys have a great time